Hot weather is great if you are a bug. Our 10 News viewers around the county have been reporting a huge uptick in insects. One woman said it's like a buffet for mosquitoes out there. Brian Schlonsky is joining us now from the 10 News Live Center. We all feel for this woman, Brian, and we've been there. Uh, a lot of people are reacting to the bug issue right now. They really are, Kimberly and Steve. You guys sent in dozens of complaints. We saw even more on social media. As of right now, the short answer here from the county, the warmer it is, the faster that these mosquitoes can multiply. As the temperatures have gotten hotter, the mosquito population has just increased and really gone crazy to the point that it's just impossible to spend a day without getting bitten. Rachel's got the bites to prove it too. She showed us welts up and down her legs. They're all over. It's really, it's a big problem. It's actually like affects, you know, daily life. She lives in Pacific Beach near the intersection of PB Drive and Olney. The apartments back up to a wildlife preserve. Rachel even put a mosquito net on her porch. It took me hours and it's definitely helped the issue, but it's still, um, they still get inside somehow. She's trying to keep herself and her pets safe. I have a cat and even though she's vaccinated, I know mosquitoes can carry like a wide variety of diseases. Rachel's not alone. Dozens of her neighbors took to social media to talk about the issue. This man writes, quote, lived here 13 years with zero bites, got mauled. Another woman says, quote, I get eaten alive every night. Then down the block at Grand and Lamont, more complaints like this woman who says, quote, I was a mosquito buffet. Insects are tied to the heat and that the warmer it is, the faster they can multiply. Chris Conlin with County Vector Control says it's not unusual for a burst of heat to cause a rise in insects. You might see other insects too that look like mosquitoes, like say midges and gnats and things like that. Sometimes the heat will get them to come off in pretty good numbers. Conlon says the county has another planned helicopter treatment in the coming weeks and that they treat by hand on an as need basis. So call if you have problem areas. Rachel says she plans to. I think spraying is definitely needs to be done. Now the county says remember to rid your property of any standing water. Also put on repellent, wear sleeves if you go outside during dusk and dawn, some of those peak hours. So far we've only seen one case of West Nile virus thus far in our county. That was in Santee. So the good news basically with that is that it's been a low activity year for mosquito-borne illnesses. But again, that's just so far, guys. Yeah, we've got a long summer ahead. Thank you, Brian.